What exactly is offensive about Joe Biden's behavior, and are you the right messenger for that? Yeah, I think I'm a very good messenger, and people got a kick out of it. Uh, he's going through a situation. Let's see what happens, but people got a kick. We got to got to sort of smile a little bit, right? Jack, do you see Joe Biden as a threat? Do you see Joe Biden as a threat? No, I don't see Joe Biden as a threat. No, I don't see him as a threat. Uh, I think he's only a threat to himself. I just don't see him as a threat. He's been there a long time. His record's not good. Uh, he'd have to run on the Obama failed record. You look at what happened with so many different things. North Korea, the Middle East, the economy never got going. No, I don't think Joe's a threat. I'd love him to be. I mean, look, I'd be happy with any of them, to be honest. Uh, I never changed my mind at all. Uh, I may shut it down at some point, but I'd rather do tariffs. So Mexico, I have to say, has been very, very good. You know that over the last four days since I talked about shutting down the border. Uh, if they continue that, uh, everything will be fine. If they don't, we're going to tariff their cars at 25 percent coming into the United States. So every time they make a car, it's a 25 percent tariff. That means we make money as opposed to lose money. We probably bring those car companies back into the United States. But if, on the other hand, it doesn't work, which it will, 100 percent, the tariffs will work just like they've worked with steel. Our steel industry is so hot right now because of what I did with tariffs. Same thing with aluminum. They'll work. But if it didn't work, I will close the border. I also am looking at an economic penalty for all of the drugs that are coming in through the southern border and killing our people. Uh, the China meeting was a big success. I think we're going to have a, uh, look, we have a very good relationship. We're going to see. I don't want to predict a deal or not a deal, but we're very well along. We've really negotiated probably the two hardest points very successfully for our country. And China understands, you know, China has taken advantage of our country for 30 years. And we can't do that anymore. Not with me. Because Mexico has been absolutely terrific for the last four days. They're apprehending everybody. Yesterday, they apprehended 14, 1,400 people. The day before, it was 1,000. And if they apprehend people at their southern border, where they don't have to walk through, uh, that's a big home run. We can handle it from there. It's really good. Now, Congress has to act. They have to get rid of catch and release, chain migration, visa lottery. They have to get rid of the whole asylum system because it doesn't work. And frankly, we should get rid of judges. You can't have a court case every time somebody steps their foot on our ground. So, very important that Congress acts. But Mexico, for the last four days, it's never happened like that in 35 years. This will supersede USMCA. USMCA is a great deal, and it's very good for Mexico. But this will supersede USMCA. Mr. President, are you going to the correspondence center, or are you going to hold a rally? I'm going to hold a rally. Yeah, because the dinner is so boring and so negative that we're going to hold a very positive rally. And so, uh, we have it determined. We have about three sites. Everybody wants it. It'll be a big one. But uh, the correspondence center is too negative. I like positive things. Okay? No, they've already got it. He's old news. Uh, he lied numerous times during his last testimony. They've had that for many months. Oh, I don't know. That's up to whoever handles it. I don't know. Hey, I'm under audit, but that's up to whoever it is. I, from what I understand, the law is 100 percent on my side. Venezuela is a mess. This is what socialism brings. 
You elect a socialist here, you'll have the same exact countries you have in Venezuela. Thank you. President there on his departure to California, touching on a number of topics, job numbers, interest rates, Joe Biden, his border decision. At the end, they're saying that the law is on his side about his tax returns because he claims he's under audit. I'm not aware of any law preventing him to release those while he's under audit. But we have Gloria Borger, Chris Eliza, Lonnie Chen, and Susan Hennessy now uh, to break this down a little bit. Uh, Gloria, if I could begin with you there. Uh, Let's talk about Biden, because, of course, the president tweeted out that that uh, somewhat adolescent video yesterday uh, targeting Biden for the claims of, of harassment against him. He says uh, there people got a kick out of it. I, I think he's only a threat to himself when asked if he believes that Biden is, is a credible contender. Your reaction to his comments? Well, look, I think that, uh, you know, in, in terms of the president, taking Joe Biden on on this particular issue. Remember, yeah. nobody has charged Joe Biden with sexual harassment. They've mm -hmm. charged him with effectively being a handsy person. Uh, he has said he's going to watch it and he understands that people need their personal space and that the world has changed. It's very clear uh, from listening to the president uh, that he doesn't see any problem with uh, himself as the messenger on this. Yeah. And I would argue that there is a little bit of a problem and that, you know, Biden responded to him last night, if you recall, saying, you know, good to see you acting presidential again. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, if the president wants to take on Joe Biden on this, if I were Biden, I'd say bring it on. Hmm. Chris is a, the president, of course, is going to California mm -hmm. to stand along a, a portion of border wall that he claims is uh, and uh, dubiously that this is an example of the wall already being built. But, but he was asked about his decision to reverse, to not close the border. And he said, listen, he's, he's going to use other penalties on Mexico. He raised mm -hmm. the prospect of tariffs, auto tariffs. And he says, if that doesn't work, I'll close the border. How significant of a turn is it? Uh, because he was threatening this week. His chief of staff was on the Sunday shows last yep. week uh, talking about it. How significant a, a reversal, a flip-flop for him? Well, first, Jim, on your point of, you know, Trump is touting this new wall built. Mm -hmm. It's actually just rehabbing a, yes. an old wall that had fallen into disrepair. So put put that there. Uh, mm -hmm. It's significant because it's what he does. We saw it twice this week on health care. Remember how Republicans were going to pass a great plan and become the party of health care going into the 2020 election? Well, then Donald Trump said, actually, yeah. we're going to do it after the 2020 election. And the reason for that, although he didn't say this, is they don't have any plan, certainly not one that can go through Congress. So this is a similar thing. Donald Trump stakes out a very extreme position. We'll just shut the border down. Republicans yeah. blanch. Uh, you saw everyone from John Cornyn and Ted Cruz saying, look, mm -hmm. the economic, first of all, the feasibility and logistics. Second, the economic mm -hmm. impact, even if we could do this, is hugely problematic. And Donald Trump then says, no, I never said that. Uh, we're going to give him a year. Yeah. Uh, you know, for his supporters, it'll be enough. But I do think it continues to be important to say, here's what he said on mm -hmm. Monday. Here's what he said on Friday. Here's why those things are different. Yeah. Uh, Susan Hennessy, sort of a passing comment as he left. He's asked about his tax returns. And we've done a lot of reporting today about all the steps that the president has taken, fairly transparent steps, it seems, to uh, avoid these coming out, including hiring a general counsel to the IRS who used to work with his own tax lawyers at Trump Organization. But as he left, he said that I'm under order. I think the law is on my side, uh, therefore, to not hand out his tax returns. Is there any law preventing the president from handing out those tax returns? Well, there's certainly no law that prevents the, the president from handing over his tax returns when he's under audit. But there's a more significant law now, which is that Congress mm -hmm. has actually requested yes. those returns. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the law is very, very clear on that. The IRS now has to produce those returns to Congress. And so, uh, you know, even though he's uh, reportedly uh, installed someone at the IRS who he thinks might yeah. be in a position to protect him, you know, this is an area in which federal law is not ambiguous. They're going to have to yeah. turn it over. And so, do you think the president is about to under, uh, is about to learn that there's a difference between sort of the passive non-disclosure of just ignoring things versus actually uh, what the political optics are of having that aggressive fight trying to keep trying to to, uh, to keep these tax returns secret? You know, it's certainly going to raise the mm -hmm. the suspicion that he has something significant to hide. Lonnie Chen, Chen, where are Republicans who are willing to stand up to the, to the president on this? They talk about transparency, transparent transparency. You have a president who, who appoints a general counsel who worked with his own tax lawyers, who appoints a commissioner of the IRS, who publicly said uh, he agrees with the president he should not release his tax returns before he's appointed, brings up Barr's statement about uh, the Mueller, you know, the obstruction of justice prior. Where are Republicans who are willing to say, no, this is a norm, 
Uh, the president seems to be pushing a, a, an agency of government in his favor. Um, we won't stand for that. Well, in fact, Jim, there's actually bipartisan support. There are some Republicans who have said in the past, look, we ought to have legislation that says mm -hmm. that presidential candidates ought to turn over or make public their tax returns. So you do have members of Congress on the record on this. The challenge is going to be for those who have said, look, you ought to have tax returns publicly released. Uh, if they're Republicans saying about Democrats, now if they say the president ought to be al allowed to, to, uh, to not disclose those, it, it presents a serious political challenge. So yeah. I do imagine you're going to see a few Republicans saying, look, uh, let's get behind this this kind of legislation it doesn't speak to the situation involving President Trump specifically, right. but it does give them some cover going forward. Sure. So, so the next president, but not this one. That's a, that, that sounds to me like an easier vote to make. Um, thanks to all of you.